Imp's Adventure in the Secret Tunnel by Mary Pat Canale. That's me. Let's begin. Imp is a good little mouse. Well, most of the time. When Imp eats all his cheese, his mommy kisses him and says, Oh, what a good little mouse. When Imp picks up his toys, his big sister Mia tickles his belly and says, Good job, Imp. <laughs> when Imp brushes his teeth, his daddy pats his head and says, Nice work, Imp. Imp smiles to show off his shiny teeth. Pat, 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 pat. But Imp likes it best when he does something that makes his family proud. So when his sister said, Guess what, Imp? Tomorrow's the first day of school. That's where I'm going to learn all kinds of new things. Imp said, Yippee! He wanted to learn new things to make his family even prouder. See, she's reading, she's drawing, dancing and singing, and even writing Imp's name. When morning came, Imp hopped out of bed and said, I'm ready for school. His mommy said, Oh, Imp, you're not old enough yet. His daddy said, Imp, you can go next year. His sister said, I will tell you all about it. <laughs> Imp wasn't sad anymore. He was mad. He was a smart little mouse, and he wanted to go to school now. No kisses. Imp wouldn't eat his cheese. Imp wouldn't pick up his toys. I like messy. Blah, blah, blah. And he refused to brush his teeth. Not even one. So his mommy sent him to his room. Imp knew he hadn't been very nice. He was grumpy and bored. I miss my sister, he said to his pet grasshopper, Hopper. He looked around for something new to do. He looked in his toy bucket. He looked under his bed. He looked in his closet. <sighs> Wait, in the back, he found a secret tunnel. An adventure, thought Imp. He decided to explore. It was dark and kind of scary. Suddenly, he heard people. Imp squeaked with fear. <laughs> then he heard children laughing. This made him happy. So he moved closer. I can be brave, thought Imp as he peeked through the vent. Could it be a classroom, thought Imp. What is she trying, Imp whispered to Hopper. The teacher drew circles and ovals and lines. Oh, it looks like me, Imp said when it was all finished. See, it says mouse. Imp had an idea, and he scurried home. Imp drew a little mouse. That's me. Next, he drew a bigger mouse. That's Daddy, he said, and he kept drawing. It's all finished, he said. I made this for you, said Imp. I'm sorry I wasn't very nice. Oh, Imp, it's beautiful. Thank you, said his mommy. I love you, said Mia. What a smart little mouse you are, said his daddy. He threw him in the air and he went, wee! <laughs> Hopper's a little bit worried. Do you see him there? That night, Imp made everyone proud. He ate his cheese, he picked up his toys, and he brushed his teeth. Looks like he's holding up his fingers that he did it three times. 
he was even proud of himself. Imp was a good little mouse, and tomorrow he would go on another adventure. So now we're going to follow the next pages where the teacher's instructions for drawing a mouse like Imp did. So why don't you get a piece of paper, something to draw on, and something to draw with, like a crayon or maybe a pencil or whatever you can, and we'll draw mice. You ready? First, we're going to draw an oval. See where I have red is where we're drawing. We're going to draw a big oval in the middle of the page. You don't have to word, write the word mouse, but this says mouse underneath the oval. And then on top of that oval, you see where I drew a red circle? We're going to draw a smaller red circle for his head. Now we're going to draw two half circles for the ears on either side of his head. So a half circle kind of looks like a C, and then the one on the right side looks like a backward C, and those will be his ears. Next, you're going to draw, draw two red circles. See where they're red? These are new. Two red circles for his paws, and then two sideways ovals for his feet. They kind of look like eggs, but those are going to be his feet. Now we're going to draw his face. Again, see where I did it, outlined it in red? We're going to do two small black circles for his eyes. And then we're going to draw another sideways oval for his nose. Now we're going to make a little personality. We're going to give him a curved line for a smile. See how it curves? Goes up on down then up. That'll be a smile. Then we'll do three little curved lines on the left side of his nose to make whiskers there. And then three little curved lines on the right side of his nose to make the whiskers there. Now he really looks like a mouse, except we're missing something very important. Do you know what it is? If you guessed a tail, you're right. You're going to draw a fat, squiggly line for the tail. Now mine looks kind of like an S, but you could do an extra squiggle on it if you want. Now we have a mouse, except for the very last details. Again, see where it's red? In the paws on these little circles, we're going to draw li two little curved lines on each one. So those are kind of like his fingers in his paws. So on his feet, we're going to do two little curved lines. It's kind of like making his toes. And now we have a mouse. You can color, color him brown like Imp is, or gray, or any color mouse you want. You could put clothes on him like Imp has. He has a little red and yellow striped uh, shirt. You could put um, something in his hand or a hat on his head. You can make him however you would like for your little mouse because now he's yours. Okay, well, if you go to HelloImp.com, there's more step-by-step -step how to draw a bunny, a butterfly, I think a penguin. There's a lot of different ones, so go check it out. Check with your parents or your mom or whoever's in charge of you, and you can learn more to draw. See you soon. I hope you come back. Bye. Have a good day.